Hey, what's going on guys? It's Northstar, and I'm finally back with a new video. In this video, I'm going to be covering some new things that I think can be added to Grand Theft Auto that will make it better uh, as a whole. Mainly for GTA Online, uh, the storyline could kind of use its own extra DLC like we had with uh, the Lost and Damned and the Ballad to Gay Tony Episodes of Liberty City DLC for Grand Theft Auto 4. So if they added something like that for Grand Theft Auto 5, I think it would be really awesome. And maybe, you know, in the future, once Next Gen comes out, maybe for the people that are still on Last Gen, like Xbox 360, PS3, they'll add a new DLC for that, and then Next Gen will get that later. But the first thing I wanted to talk about is the dying at one star in online. It was like that in Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, when you know you got cops on you you get one star and the cops would automatically come after you and try to kill you And I think they they can change that to not be instantaneous death because there's no way really to get around it I mean you can escape one star fairly easily in this game now You know if you've been playing it for a while, but it shouldn't it shouldn't be that way I think at one star the cop should pull you over or like write you a ticket or something like that say a $1,000 fine for whatever you did you get one star, that's what should happen, not, you know, a thousand cops come chasing after you, and then, you know, you evade them more and more, and, you know, helicopters come. Like, I can understand if you want to run from the cops, you get one star, or you bump into a cop car, you get one star. You run away, and then you get two stars, and then, you know, the further you run, if you shoot at them, whatever, you get three stars, and then that's what helicopters would come. But, I don't want to see, you know... 15 cops behind me because I have one star because I accidentally bumped into a police car or even better when the police car bumps into me when I'm not even doing anything. So the fine thing at one star I think that would definitely be an improvement to GTA Online. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that. Let me know in the comments. Another thing that I thought about, um, I don't know if you guys know about it, but the new Purge movie just came out yesterday and I had this idea where what if in GTA Online we had one day that all crime was legal. Like a whole 24 hour real life day, not an in-game day, where all crime in GTA was legal, like how we had for Christmas with the snow. I mean, I would like, like to see it for more than a day, maybe a week, but even a day if we can get it where all crime is legal. No matter what you do, you can go out and kill 15,000 cops, but they won't come after you. I think that would be an amazing idea and something that would really get people wanting to play GTA. You know how many people would be playing GTA on a day where there was no cops to come after you? You could just do whatever you wanted, steal as many cars, blow up as many people, buildings, whatever you want to do. It's totally fine because you would have the quote-unquote purge going on in Los Santos and everywhere else all of San Andreas. I think that would be a really awesome idea. Um, I don't think it would be that hard to do either. I mean, just disable cops for one day. Or make like a, a playlist where there's no cops enabled or something. You know, it's not that hard for Rockstar to do and I don't know why they're, you know, not budging with the whole lowering the cop difficulty or the whole like making a sandbox mode where we can turn cops off because to play GTA, I want to play GTA to have fun. Money is also an, an issue in this game and I think you just turn it all off. You know, get rid of it. I mean, it was a good idea. It still is a good idea. but. For the people that played GTA 4 and wanted to have fun with their friends and go out and just, you know, do stupid stuff, you know, with cars, you had to find the cars or whatever, it's totally fine with me if I had to find cars in this game. I wouldn't, you know, care, or what if they just had it where you can purchase any car you wanted, like you had an infinite amount of money in the sandbox mode, but at the end, you wouldn't be able to save it. The game would just end, and then you'd have to rebuy all the stuff again with the infinite amount of money in the next lobby that you joined. That's getting off topic, I still want to talk about this Purge thing. We can make it a whole Purge DLC if you think about it. You know, you could add all the masks in, you could add some weapons, um, you know, maybe security systems, you know, for your cars. So like if somebody tried to get into your car, like it would let you know. You know, anything like that that you can, you know, put into the game and make it a little bit more fun. I think it could definitely happen and it would really make a lot of people, including myself, happy. The final thing that I wanted to talk about, it's not really uh, an improvement for Grand Theft Auto, it's kind of a continuation. Um, you guys have probably heard by now, GTA is coming out for next gen, PS4, Xbox One, and PC uh, in the fall of 2014, hopefully. 
Um, when that happens, I don't know if I'm going to continue to play on the Xbox 360 anymore. And I don't have a lot of friends at the moment on the PS4 because usually when I'm playing the PS4, I have games like Infamous Second Son, Watch Dogs, you know, single player games that you can't, you know, really do much with. So I don't play a lot of online on the uh, PS4 other than Battlefield. And uh, I feel like when I come to my Xbox 360, I want to play games to have fun with my friends. But the PS4 is more of a gaming console for single player games. So once that comes out, maybe you know I'll meet some new friends. If you guys have PS4s, leave your gamer tags in the comments, and then I'll add you on PS4, and we can play together GTA or Battlefield or Call of Duty, whatever. That's pretty much all I wanted to really say. If you guys have any other ideas on how GTA 5 Online can be improved, be sure to leave it in the comments section below, and I will talk to you guys later.